Yeah, so when you first got it, man, when you first, you know, you a kid growing up, you was in favor. Mm-hmm. Okay, born and raised. Born and raised. So? Now, 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 coming up in favor, how was music a part of your life? How, how did this this form come for you to start making music in favor when, when you was growing up? Well, for starters, um, my grandfather was a preacher. Okay. So, with that being said, my whole family did music. You know, my mom and my aunts, my uncles and shit, they were the choir, my older cousins. And um, it's just a part of my lifestyle, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I really love music. Just music in general. Not just hip-hop, but I love music. You dig what I'm saying? And um, I just adapted to that, man. And then my uncle, on my dad's side, my uncle Jeff, he the one that really turned me on to hip-hop. Mm-hmm. He was Ron DMC, Beastie Boys, LL, Cool J, Slick Rick, Cool G Rap. You know what I mean? He used yeah, to yeah. ride me around in his truck. He had two tens in his truck. And that's how I actually fell in love with rap, bro. Real shit. He used to start writing rhymes, going to the studio, or you just doing nah, it with friends, doing I, it with family? Um, I didn't write my first rap until I was like 13. Me and my cousin Toy and my cousin Twan, nigga, we had... Cassette, pl- cassette player. And we had to stick motherfucking tape. paper inside the cassette so you could record on that bitch, nigga. And we had two cassettes, and I used to have to play the music, stop it, try to catch it, play it, rewind it, stop it, try to get it. The beat be fucked up for six mm. minutes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Niggas yeah. rapping off beat and shit. You ever fall into the, the Sycamore tapes where they had all the instrumentals and everything? And you could like plug the mic up to the cassette and you put regular tapes in and oh, word. record on it. You did the sycamore th- nah. instrumentals or it was just random beats? Just random beats, man. M- most of the time, just like the beginning of a real song and stop it before the, the words come up, man. <laughs> like, we were sampling our own shit, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And Everybody went them. through that phase, you know I mean? man. So fast forward, man. So you in two six, man. What 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 type of activities did you get into in the two six, man? Like how was it growing up? Because I hear so many different stories. I heard you gotta be a special type of person to make it through some of these conditions, man. It's live, man. Every everybody in the two sixes is like here. You know what I mean? Like everybody, great music wise. It's a lot of hustlers. And I ain't talking about like just drug dealers, but hustlers, women hustlers. You know, we got the army base right there. You just got to really be able to play your own part. The army base, the federal state, all them bring like a, a different type of crowd in. So it's just more than than more than the, the people who originated from Fayetteville. Mm-hmm. We got people from all over in that spot. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so the influence is tough. You got to really be on your shit. So who?